hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to do this photo cutout animation in premiere pro so to begin i've imported a few photos and videos onto my timeline over here so the first thing i'm going to do is to come over to my first image over here and drag the second image above it now what i'm going to do is to come over to my opacity in my first control panel here and select this free draw bezier, here and i'm going to fit this into probably 100 percent and begin to cut this out it doesn't need to be a perfect cut it can be a rough cut so i'm going to fast forward this guys so i'll fit this back so you can see what we've created over here now if i deselect this top clip you can see that we have successfully maxed out the background from that first image so what i'm going to do now is to hit on my alt key and drag this photo up to duplicate it and in this top photo here i'm going to go and delete the mask from it so that the full background can be seen and i'm going to move this a few frames forward now if we go to the beginning and hit play you can see what we have created so I'm just going to go ahead and do this to the remaining clips. So what I'm going to do next is to take these other portions out. And I'll cut this other portion that has both the full image and drop it down. Then bring the next image above it here. So what I'm going to do now is to select out a portion I want to take out from this image. Most likely I'll take out this white portion. So I'll repeat the same process, hit on my free job bezier and then I'm going to use that tool to cut out this portion and then I'm going to duplicate it, move a few frames forward and I'm going to take out the marks from the top portion here so that the full image can be seen. So if I go back now and hit play, you can see what we have created. Okay guys, so I'm just going to repeat this process for a bit. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to apply this cutout animation effect to a video clip. So basically it's the same process. All you need to do is to select the video clip, move to the first frame of the video clip, which is over here, and select this camera icon over here. If you cannot see, just come over to this plus sign here, select it, and select the camera option and hit OK, and it's going to be imported to your options over here. Now select it, hit OK. Make sure you select the option for it to be imported into project and hit OK. Now you're going to drag this onto your timeline and move your video clip a few frames forward. So it's going to begin with your snapshot over here and after your snapshot your video is going to come in. So you're going to repeat the same process of masking out this image over here. I'm going to select this one. So basically, if we move over to the beginning, you can see what we have created over here. Another thing you can do is to add some form of animation to your photo cutouts. So to do this, what I'll do is to move over to the beginning and on my first cutout here, just before it moves into the full background, I'm going to animate it. So I'm going to move to the position where this image moves to this other one over here. And at this point, I'm going to select this image that I've maxed out the background. And at this point, I'm going to add keyframes to its scale and position property. And I'll move close to the beginning and reduce the scale maybe to 70 and take the position down so it comes out from beneath and next I'm going to select these two keyframes and take them to the beginning so if I go over to the beginning now and hit play you can see how it animates into the next clip so you can apply that to all your other clips over there another thing you can do is to move over to any of your image let's say for example this image over here and you can basically add an outline to it so I'm going to select this and nest it I move over to the effects panel over here and search for, for the paint bucket effect and drag it onto the nested clip over here I move over to my first control panel set my fill selector to alpha channel 
set my stroke to stroke, set my stroke width to 8, and change the color to whatever color I like. I'm going to stick with white. And basically, I've added an outline to this image over here. So this is going to make this image more visible in this background. And another thing I can do now is to scale it. So I'm going to come to this portion here just before it switches. And I'm going to add keyframes to scale and position. Then move very close to the beginning and I'll probably take this down to 70 and make it come from beneath also. And if I take this to the beginning now and hit play, you can see how it animates into the next video. And basically that's it guys for this tutorial. I'm just trying to show you the context of how this effect is being applied so you can try it on your next video clip. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.